So when we look at Mark chapter 6, verse 35, And when the day was now far spent, his disciples came unto him and said, This is a desert place, and now the time is far spent. It's getting late. Send them away that they may go into the country around them, around about, into the villages and buy themselves bread, for they have nothing to eat. The disciples' attitude is get rid of all these people. Okay? Just send them off, let them go buy their food, and, you know, we'll be happy. He, Jesus, answered and said unto them, Give ye them to eat. And they said unto him, Shall we go and buy 200 pennies worth of bread and give them to eat? We ain't got enough money. He said to them, How many loaves have ye? Go and check, go and see. When they knew, they said five and two fish. And he commanded them to make all sit down by companies upon the green grass. Okay? Uniform, productive, reasonable way is set them in order on the grass. And they sat down by ranks, by hundreds and by fifties. When they had taken the five loaves and two fishes, he looked up to heaven, blessed, Jesus blessed the meal, and break the loaves and gave them unto his disciples and set before them. And the two fish divided he among them all. And they did eat and were filled. They were eat, they were filled. Oh, they're sitting down, big Thanksgiving meal. They're, they're bloated. They're tired. They're taking a nap. They're they're sleepy. They they can't have another bite. Oh no, I can't have the pie. I am just too full. Oh man. And they took up twelve baskets full of fragments and of the fish. So <laughs> five loaves of bread and two fishes it comes out to be twelve baskets. Of leftovers. That's a miracle. And they that did eat. Of the loaves. Were about 5,000 men. So 5,000 men. Five loaves. Two fish. Everybody eats to the full. Women and children. Not included. And there is 12. Baskets left. Of leftovers. Mark chapter 8. In those days. The multitude being very great. Having nothing to eat. Jesus said to his disciples. Unto, said unto them. I, I have compassion on the multitude. Well the disciples didn't earlier. They didn't have not compassion. In chapter 6. Like get rid of these people. Come on. Send them off. Let them go buy their food. Jesus loves them because they have now been with him three days and nothing to eat. And if I send them away fast into their houses like they wanted to earlier in Mark chapter 6, they will faint by the way for divers them came from afar. And his disciples answered and said, From whence can a man satisfy these men with bread here in the wilderness? You know, we lift these disciples up, like Paul, supermen, superheroes. They're just plain old simple men like you and I. All have sinned and come short of the glory of God. I'm a sinner, saved by grace. I've got to confess my sin. I've got to repent. And when you look at chapter 6 and chapter 8, chapter 6 is the feeding of the 5,000. Chapter 8 is the feeding of the 4,000. You would think in chapter 8, you think they would remember the 5,000? Let me ask you a question, Christian. 
Are there miracles? Are there prayer answers that you forgot? How about this one? You ever prayed prayed something to the Father? And way down the road, do you realize, you know what? That prayer was answered. And you didn't even think about it. You didn't even thank God for it. You went on with your life. And there are things that God does for us that we see in the disciples that, you know what? We forget. We forgot. Disciples answered and said, Once can a man satisfy these men with bread here in the wilderness? They just had this happen, chapter 6. And there were more men. And he asked them, said, How many loaves have ye? They said, Seven. Go back to chapter 6. Look at verse 38. How many loaves have you? Go and see. Still did not remember. He commanded people to sit down on the ground. Look at verse 39, cha uh, chapter 6. And he commanded them to make all sit down by companies upon the green grass. Familiar? You know, I've had three toes amputated. You know what? I don't think of them every day. And if I look down, I'll see them. And I don't think to thank the Lord that I have a foot still. And that's wrong. And what the disciples, they forgot. What we do is we forget. That's human nature. And the older you get, the more you forget. Now, I'm not talking about dementia. I'm not talking having an accident in, in, you know, in memory. I'm just talking about regular memory every day of our life. And we forget. He took the seven loaves and gave thanks, and break, and gave his disciples set before them, and they did set them before the people. Now go back to chapter 6. Verse 41. When he had taken the five loaves and two fishes, he looked up to heaven, blessed, drank the loaves, gave them unto the disciples to set before them, and the two fish he divided among the all. Is this reoccurring? And yet, I have prayed for things in my life, and God has answered, and I forgot I was praying for it. I have seen God do things in my life, and I forgot. I have seen God do things in my life and present. I am so distracted. I am so overwhelmed. I forgot the previous blessings. And not only I, but the disciples and maybe you. Forgetfulness and being burdened down and so much activity at the present time. They had 5,000. Now they got 4,000. 
a thousand less, but still, it's we got all these people. And their very first attitude to disciples had the first time of the five thousand. Let's get rid of them. The attitude now, Lord, we ain't got enough money. And yet, in both situations, Jesus is and will always be the answer. It's that plain and simple. They had two small fishes, and he blessed and commanded and set them by the moth. So they, so they did eat. Chapter eight, were filled. All right, chapter six, verse forty-two. They did eat and were filled. I mean, is there anything out of the whack of the two besides there's five thousand, four thousand? No. This is repetitious. Repetition of word in a, in a sermon. Repetition of memorizing a verse. Repetition of hearing over and over and over. Builds into my our memory, my memory. Many Bible verses I had to learn from school. I did repetition. I put it down in the car and I read it, I read it, I read it, I read it, I read it. Many Bible verses. Illustrations of it is I heard it, I heard it, I heard it, I heard it. Made of the Bible I know is because I read it through the year, I read it through the year, I study it through the year, I study it through the year, and that's what he's doing his disciples, and that's what God does. That's what the Lord Jesus Christ does with us today. Repetitious. And you know what? We may be so distracted by the world, we may be so distracted of our own way. We may be so distracted by the devil, we don't even see it. We don't even remember it. To me, that's a shame. Nay, they had eaten and been about 4,000, and he sent them away. Now look, 8.13, and he sent them and they entered the ship again and part the other side. Now the disciples had forgotten to take bread, neither had they in the ship with them more than one loaf. And he charged them, saying, Take heed, beware the leaven of the Pharisees and the leaven of Herod, that's religion. They reasoned, they reasoned, uh, they reasoned among themselves, saying, Is it because we have not taken bread? And when Jesus knew it, he says, and why reason ye, because we have no bread? Perceive ye not, neither ye understand. Have ye your hearts yet hardened? Having eyes see not, having ears hear not, and do ye not remember? See? When I break the, the low, five loaves among five thousand, how many baskets full of fragments took ye up? They sent them to twelve. When the seven among four thousand, how many baskets full you take up? They said seven. They forgot again. They're in the boat. Jesus announces out the leaven of the Pharisees, the leaven of the Sadducees, and he's not talking about food, he's talking about their doctrine. But the disciples take it as bread, and they have no bread, so now they're in a panic again. We got 5,000 people, they have to feed. Oh, no, 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 we got, we got five loaves of bread. No. We got 4,000 people, oh, no, we got seven loaves of bread. We got the 13 of us in the ship. How many we got? We ain't got none. Then Jesus do miracles with a fish? Will he do miracles with a fish? You can't think that maybe Jesus will call some fish and have them jump out of the water into the boat? 
That could happen at times. John records to us that there's many things that Jesus done that is not recorded. They forgot the blessings and the answer of prayer three times. With a not long in time. So do we. And yet, we have something that they don't have. We have a cute little hymn called Count Your Many Blessings, Name Them One by One. And we sing that in church. You know, Count your blessings, name them one by one. And we sing it in church, but how many of you counted? Hmm? You're a hypocrite if you don't. How I many you sit down sometime at some period and just put your mind in your thoughts alone with nobody around, no distraction, and just rebelize yourself to what God's done for you, what the Holy Spirit has guided you, what the Lord Jesus Christ in your life of counting your many blessings and not forgetting them. Huh? I write things in my Bible. I have a Schofield reference Bible. Wide margins. I got notes. Which I can't see no more. I've got things that have happened to me. I got It's recorded by date. Month, day, and year. Sometimes it's a month and year. I have a Word document. Of my computer, I, I, I call it dated blessings. Of everything, that, well, not everything, take that back. Of things that God has done for me and amazing events in my life, I record by the date and what happened, good or bad. And there have been times I've had to go back to that sheet, find the date, find what I, what I was thinking, of, and remember, and I look down and up of what I was looking for and say, wow. I forgot about that. I forgot the days my children got saved. I forgot the time my mother got saved. I've forgotten the time I've gotten saved. I've got I don't mean forget that you forget. I mean you just get so distracted from the world. You get so distracted of things you just now did the disciples forget? Well, Look at chapter 8. Verse 18. Do ye not remember? Jesus himself said to the disciples, Did you forget? And you got to ask yourself, Did you forget? Have you forgotten? Maybe at the end of this video. Maybe you should just sit there, turn everything off. Get to your private place. And not in prayer. Get to your private place and just spend some time and say, Lord, remind me of all the wonderful things that you've done. You may get in your quiet place and say, I got this piece, I got this line piece of paper and this pencil or pen. I'm going to start writing them down. You don't need to know the date. Just start writing them down. And then you look at that list. And fold it up and put it somewhere in your Bible. So when you read through your Bible, you'll come to that list and say, ooh. Mark them down in your Bible. Make a whole list. You got a prayer book? Do you have a blessing book? The disciples forgot. And so will we. And I call you to remembrance. Remember. Count your blessings, name them one by one. And see what God has done that slipped your memory. And friend, that will bring joy, joy, joy down deep in your heart. 
and God will be pleased.